Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and today I'm going to bring you a video of the God Roll Falling Guillotine Sword. Now, I've gotten a ton of different rolls, and I've looked through a variety of different perks, and damage testing has been done. And this is the 10 out of 10, the perfect roll. There can be no better roll than this roll right here. We got Whirlwind Blade, Relentless Strikes, we're using Sword Master's Guard, which is a really, really strong perk, and then Jagged Edge gives you the absolute most increase in damage. The only masterwork you can get for swords is impact, so don't worry about that. You'll always get impact. And I threw a boss back on because, you know, we're melting bosses out here with this bad boy. So, uh, Sword Master's Guard, really important because it will give you a faster charge rate to your heavy attack. And Relentless Strikes gives you ammo by landing uh, three light attacks. So, that's also, like, the strongest perk in that slot. I'll pull up light.gg here. You can see there's a, a variety of other perks that are also strong. Counter Attack is very strong. Surrounded is strong. Um, but Whirlwind Blade tends to give you the best overall damage output. Uh, so, if you're out there grinding and you get a Falling Guillotine to drop, make sure you look at the perks before you dismantle it. The one that comes from the Season Pass does have Whirlwind Blade, and it's really strong, don't get me wrong, that's a good roll, but you really want Whirlwind Blade and Swordmaster's Guard at the very least, and adding Jagged Edge for that increased amount of damage is nice too, if we look over here. The impact is plus zero, plus, minus five, plus five, plus ten for Jagged Edge, and plus three for Tempered Edge, so Jagged Edge giving you the absolute most damage. We're just trying to slay bosses with this thing. We're not trying to uh, mess around clearing too many ads with this so this is it this is the 10 out of 10 god roll if you find it keep it and oh, oops. and slay some bosses in pv with it i'll put the bubble close to where she spawns yeah yep over there all right your light attacks I got so many buffs I can't tell. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really see it. Four. Damn, we almost did that. Yeah. That's fine, you get the resident finisher off. I don't know where you're ready to be on this thing. Weapons, dip in that bubble. Commit! Oh yeah, it wasn't that hard. Hey! Wasn't that hard Wait, how, how'd you die? That's that. Oh, I put them shit with me. You gotta like spin around in a circle like crazy. Yeah. Like <laughs> But you can tell when somebody hits the spin, yeah. when that actually hits their spin because it just goes yeah, down. So. <laughs> uh, I got to carry it in HDB. Me too. Your buddy up here. She be dead. Oh my sword. Okay. Dude, I, dude I, I can't see anything. I'm like inside four people right now. I, it's like so weird. I'm just inside this foot right now. This is so weird. Yeah. I was in between the toes. We got some toe jam up in there. Right, now, this was some footage of me and my entire fire team all using the Falling Guillotine Sword. And we were also using the Lucent Blade mod, which I had made a PSA video making sure that all of you went and got. So hopefully you did go get that because you can see with Lucent Blade, Falling Guillotine, and the Charge of Light mod, you can absolutely destroy raid bosses with swords. And it's a lot of fun. Happy hunting out there, trying to get that God Rolled sword. Make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.